Hello, and welcome to the introductory session of Data Analytics with R, Tableau, and Excel. Did you know by 2020, every human being will create over 1.5 megabytes of data per second on average? In 2025, the sum of digital data will add up to 180 zettabytes, which is over 16 trillion gigabytes. Considering these numbers, it is an understatement to say that data is only big. In fact, data is huge. Thus, it is important to understand what big data is before we study about data analytics. So what is big data and how is it related to data analytics? Big data is a large volume of data that consists of both structured and unstructured data forms, helps organizations to draw meaningful insights from their data to learn and grow. Thus, it's the data that matters and not its volume. Now, let's further learn about structured and unstructured data. Structured data is organized information that can be accessed with the help of simple search algorithms, while unstructured data, as the name suggests, is less uniform and thus difficult to work with. The lack of structure makes compiling data a time and energy consuming task. Now that we know the details about big data, let's understand the relation between big data and analytics. The process of uncovering hidden patterns, unknown correlations, market trends, customer preferences, and other useful information from both structured and unstructured data is called data analytics. As we're familiar with the process of data analytics, it's the right time to learn the benefits of using data analytics. Analytics help organizations make informed decisions and choices. It boosts the overall performance of the organization by refining the financial processes, increasing visibility, providing insights, and granting control over managerial processes. It detects fraud and flaws by keeping a close vigil. It further improves the IT economy by increasing agility and flexibility of systems. The above mentioned are just a few advantages. However, the list goes on. Despite the growing interest in data analytics, there is an acute shortage of professionals with good data analytical skills. Thus, only 0.5% of the data we produce is analyzed. There is a serious shortage for skilled professionals. Thus, the ones who are called proficient data analysts must have certain skills. They must possess a varied skill set like computer science, data mining, and business management to provide from the data they are working on. Their computer science skills should include both programming skills and technical skills. Programming skills, Python, R, and Java. Technical skills, knowledge about platforms like Hadoop, Hive, Spark, etc. Their data skills should include warehousing skills, quantitative and statistical skills, and analytical and interpretation skills. Warehousing skills, data scientists must possess good analytical skills. Quantitative and statistical skills. As technology is a key aspect of big data analysis, quantitative and statistical skills are essential. Analytical and interpretation skills, knacks to analysis and interpret data. The business skills are important to use the data effectively and to improve various aspects such as operations, finance, productivity, etc. These are the skills that make the data analytics professional an invaluable asset for the organization. The lack of skilled data professionals is an opportunity in turn for upcoming data scientists to make their mark in the field of data analytics. As the significance of data grows in the business world, the value of professionals working in analytics also increases. This is creating a variety of job roles amongst organizations, and they are data analyst, analytics consultant, business analyst, analytics manager, data architect, metrics and analytics specialist, analytics associate, these are only some of the job titles that data analytics professionals can acquire in business organizations. The list is presumably greater. Now, let's learn about key software platforms that make data analytics the robust and efficient process it is. The chief software platforms are R, Tableau, and Excel. R is one of the robust statistical computing solutions. Tableau is the foremost business intelligence platform that offers eminent data visualization and exploration capabilities. Coming to Excel, it is used for managing, manipulating, and presenting data. When combined, Tableau, R, and Excel offer the most powerful and complete data analytics solutions. Now we shall study each of the above concepts in detail. What is R? It is a free software under the terms of the Free Software Foundation's GNU. The language and environment are ideal for statistical computing and graphics. Data miners basically use it for creating statistical software and to analyze data. Next in the row is Tableau. What is Tableau? 
It is an industry-leading business intelligence BI tool that focuses on data visualization, dashboarding, and data discovery. Due to Tableau, data visualization is easily accessible. It is the art of presenting data in a comprehensible and aesthetic fashion. Last but not the least, Excel. Excel is extremely useful in collating data for analysis, for carrying out cross-tabulations, creating contingency tables, or tables for statistical summaries. Though this method is comparatively old, it is popular for two reasons, accessibility and usability. Thus, to summarize, the demand for data analytics and its professionals is augmenting at a great pace. Organizations are interested in analysts to maximize their data potential, while professionals are interested in capitalizing on the analytical crunch in many parts of the world. I leave you here with all the stats and facts, hoping that you make a wise choice. So, to be a part of Data Analytics Field, join a CAD Guild's Data Analytics with R, Tableau, and Excel program. For more details, visit our website. To get more updates about the recent happenings in the technology sector, subscribe to our YouTube channel.